Hello people of the internet, welcome back to my channel. And today, I thought I'd bring you around Brands Hatch Circuit on a chilly November day. I know, I know how to show people a good time, what can I say? But I'm actually here at Brands today for something that's not actually that common in British racing, which is night racing. One of the coolest things about being at Petit Le Mans a few weeks back was actually getting to see some real night racing because, believe it or not, you barely ever see that over here in the UK. It's just not really a thing. In the late 90s, early 2000s, the British Touring Cars experimented with a couple of uh, night races and they were pretty cool, but they didn't last. Outside of that, there's really not that many races that involve either full run or part of it run during nighttime conditions. The whole thing of seeing headlights ablaze through the darkness and race cars running. It just isn't really a thing that much. There's basically only two exceptions to that rule. One, if there's been a massive delay in the schedule on a club event and things are still running as the sun starts going down, which is normally when people start tapping their watches going, come on, we need to wrap this up, local noise regulations, blah, blah, blah. Or there's this, what I'm doing today, which is the brick car into the night race. And the idea of it's pretty simple. I'm here today on the Sunday. They've already run yesterday on the Saturday. I think they ran an hour race yesterday. And tonight, today at the moment, but tonight they will run a two hour race at night because we're in November in the UK where barely past three o'clock in the afternoon and it's already getting dark. So even though local noise regulations mean all racing has to be wrapped up by half six, well, it's pretty much dark by four. So night racing, yeah, we can kind of do that without annoying too many local council members or whatever. This is basically me doing a Noriaro except not watching drifters at Ebisu Circuit. I'm instead watching, well, so far today, people drive Citroen C1s because there is a full card of racing already here today. And believe it or not, the main event of that, the main event of the undercard was a two-hour endurance race for Citroen C1s. And believe it or not, it was actually pretty fun. Stick some footage in right now of that. We've, there's also been some, I think there's some minis racing out there at the moment. There's been some Geneta Junior stuff. Let's have a wander around and I'll show you the sights and sounds. And here we see a wild loose. He's got coffee and uh, that means he's going to be able to talk. Top 10. Yeah. And the lap down now is Andrew Emily, who uh, made that pitch. We're not sure what he was checking in there, but there must be something interesting. Crosses their room, he does just squeeze across into the lead and uh, well, just now we're just going to take a little wander through the pits, come with me, because there's one car here in particular that's kind of the celebrity of the show. Let's see if we can go find it.
So there we have it, the race is over. And it was a great spectacle, but I feel like it almost suffered a little bit for, there was only 16 carts, and by the end there were 10 still running. It would have been nice to see more of the Brabham, obviously, but I have just been through to have a look at it, still sitting in its garage peacefully. It did win its debut race yesterday, and then conked out about 10 minutes into this one, so new car problems, I guess, but it does look amazing. It's very cool that they chose to debut here of all places this weekend. I love the concept of the Into the Night race. I think it's great. I think there's a lot that can be done with it. So it'll be cool to see if they can do more with it. Because right now, it's almost like a sort of hidden gem that I don't think they're quite getting the most out of. But it's still been a good time.